Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through this plain Bitcoin chart for you all and I'm going to be telling you the story that it's giving to me, okay? These charts, they tell stories, we don't need to listen to the news, we don't need to listen to the PayPal rumors, we just need to trade the chart for what it is, okay? So we're blocking out everything all around us, we're, we're blocking out coronavirus, PayPal's going to accept Bitcoin, we're blocking out all of these sort of things that we honestly could not care less about, we're trading the charts and we're making money. Guess what? I've made seven figures trading this range. That's a hell of a lot of money. People buying PayPal rumors up at 9,000, uh, up at 9,700. Guess what? They've lost all their money. They're liquidated. You know, they're basically handing over their money to the professional traders. I've said it once and I'll say it again. If you trade this chart truly for what it is, which is just a sideways range, not trying to trade these breakouts, you're absolutely laughing. You're absolutely raking in the money right now because I mean, once again, it's this is the exact, exact range that I gave you last video, okay? We've obviously rotated from this several times, low to the high, the low to the highs, the lows to the highs, the lows to the highs, the lows. Last video that I made, we were up at a high. You saw the short entry that I had, $9,772, okay? That short entry, how well did that play out? absolutely brilliantly. Are you surprised? We have a whole move down to $9,000. Okay, that's a $700 move to the downside. Obviously, I've been going in and out of these short positions, maximizing the profits. And just once again, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. So what do we have? We've we've got the full rotation again. Last video, the short, we've had it. Rotation, full rotation down to the low. Full rotation down to the low. And what has that given us? It's given us a harmonic opportunity. I, I love harmonics. I love harmonics. You know, I love them because they're Fibonacci. And what did we have on top of this? Like an extra, extra little bit of, an extra little bit of evilness. Like, a, <laughs> I love to take, I love to take people that trade off of trend lines money, basically. So what I was saying last night, to my group is, wouldn't it be a shame to fake out both sides? You know, these are the trend lines everybody's looking at, okay? This is obviously a potential triangle where you can be viewing this as the upward sloping trend line of an ascending triangle, flat resistance, okay? You have the ascending triangle there. So my my thought process was basically, you know, let's, let's, fake, out, let's fake out both sides. And this is obviously the harmonic that I was identifying from this 9,800 high, okay? So we had the move down, back up, we're looking for the lows, back up to the highs once more, you know? So uh, as we had that move down yesterday to around 9,250, I was saying last night, you know, I have a feeling that we're going to get this swing failure of the lows before any push up. I, I, to be honest, I wasn't expecting another push up last night. We were really leaning towards another swing failure of the lows to fake out of this trend line to hit the bottom of our the high of our lower channel before any possible increase in price. OK, and have a guess how that how that worked out. Obviously, we had step one. We had step two and then step three this morning, coming down to the lows, fake out of the fake out of the trend line, stopping a load of shorts, literally, literally hundreds of million at the low. Just crazy amount of shorts at those lows. OK, got into that long position, 9150. Obviously, I've, 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 I'll be honest with you, I've, I've taken profit on this one. I'm actually in a short position again right now. I'm going to explain that in a minute, but oh, I'll show you, I guess. Like I'm in this short position at the moment, so I'm not like overly like massively bullish and like I'm not saying like we're definitely going to 9,900 just because I posted this harmonic here. Um, you know, I've obviously taken that short, I've taken a long at the lows, but now I'm back into a short position and this is short term, this is short term. Um, so, you know, this is an idea that we have currently, but that is all it is for me at the moment is like an idea. I want to see some actual resistance claimed at the moment because as you can see down here, Okay, obviously I'm trading this on Bybit. You can see exactly what happens here. You come up, you took the high, and then you got this retracement. So I'm playing it slightly cautiously. I have a possible bullish scenario in, on, on hand here, okay? But I also, you know, I can understand the weakness across the markets, okay? We are seeing weakness. So I am playing it like this. I'm currently in a short, I'm in a short at the moment, okay? But I foresee the potential. But what I would really like to see is a bit of resistance claimed as support. We claim this resistance as support. Okay. I'm obviously, you know, <laughs> you know, my big one is 9425. Okay. 9425 to 9500. Claim 9500. I really foresee that we get this harmonic pattern. If we cannot claim 9500, I think you're honestly going to be looking down towards 8700. Okay. So while we're below 9500, one can say you can be, you know, you can favor shorts. So That's absolutely acceptable. You know, I'm in a short position right now. But I foresee the potential here. I foresee the potential. That's why I was shorting 9150 this morning, you know, because I saw the reaction off of our low of our channel. And let me just load that up for you one more time. Let's just load that up. I need to come back to BitMEX. All these charts, man, these charts. I need to come back to BitMEX. I need to load up this. Okay, so I saw, foresaw the potential. I saw the confluences that we'd had down here, but 
because of the way that I'm like trading this, I'm a little bit more cautious with presetting bids for longs. So I saw the reaction, okay, got into the long. We saw a quick, you know, almost $150 rise up to around 9,300. So it was a it was a really good long position. But now I've, you know, switched this into a short currently and it's just like, you know, the it's kind of just like a hedge until we can claim a bit of resistance. Then I'm going to go straight back into a long. So that's the way that I'm currently trading this. I'm very much eager to get back into a long position, but I just want to see a little bit, just a little bit of strength after I've taken that long already this morning. Okay, so that's kind of like how I'm looking at this chart, how I'm expecting this to trade out. And, um, you know, why I suppose I'm expecting this to trade out. I'm only expecting it to trade out if we can claim resistances as support, okay? That's the next step, okay? So we're always looking at like step one, step two, and step three, okay? We're looking at all of these steps to give us a bigger picture, to give us more confidence and higher probabilities in the trade setup, okay? We always we always want to take the trades with the highest probabilities, okay? So we're not after these like, you know, maybe it wins, maybe it loses sort of trades. We're after the we're after the trades which you look at it and it just screams at you, buy me, sell me. You know, it's just screaming at you the trade. Those are the trades that I love to take when it's a little bit on the fence. Like, mm, you know, I'm not I'm not so bothered about taking those sort of trades. You know, that short position up at nine thousand seven hundred and seventy. You know, screamed at me, take that trade. You know, it, scre it was screaming at me, and those are the trades that I like to take. But you know, this at the moment. 9270, 9260, where we're at. Playing it slightly cautious. You know, I want to get into a lot another long position, but yeah, I'm happy to sit in my short until I see a bit more strength, if I'm honest with you. You know, that's just the way I'm trading it. So um yeah, that that's kind of what I'm looking at here. Okay. And we know we've seen it time and time and time again. You know, there's people get overly bullish at the highs, you know, at the highs, you know, the thing that we, which I absolutely loved was that there was the PayPal route. And this is why I, I apologize if you bought on it, but I'm sorry, I took your money. Uh, <laughs> you know, we had the PayPal rumors come out, people like, oh, um, PayPal are going to accept Bitcoin. Like, who cares? Like, who literally cares? Who buys Bitcoin? Because apparently PayPal are going to accept Bitcoin. If, if someone wants to invest in it, that I very much doubt they're going to use PayPal. I can I'm already envision the fees. But nevertheless, like, obviously, it's kind of good for the space long term. But it, do you really think this is going to give short term reactions? I mean, if you do, it's just really short lived, I suppose. It's short lived and you have to be locking in profits. At the end of the day, we're blocking out the news. We're blocking out everything else. We are just trading the charts. And you can see the evidence is here. The evidence is here. Okay. We trade the charts. There's the wick of the high of the low of the higher channel. And there's a wick to the low, the to the high of the lower channel, you know. So, so, so technical. It really, really, really is. And um, yeah, that's that's what I wanted to talk you through here today. I wanted to talk you through the you know why we're trading the charts for what they are obviously you do have this this triangle potentially and we have to do to acknowledge that this can break to the upside or to the downside and uh you know the follow through from this range is likely to be really 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 big okay so you are likely to see like a massive massive move when this breaks out and you know acknowledge it can break to the downside can break to the upside but nevertheless when this breakout comes we're expecting really big follow through and you know the the saying is have a plan and if you have no plan your plan is to fail so if you do not prepare for a bullish scenario and a bearish scenario, you are only prepared to lose money. Like you are definitely going to lose. If you have no plan, you, you, you're just going to fail because you're going to not be ready for what's coming. And I feel I'm very ready for the potential of what's coming here. Uh, you know, I have a bullish scenario, I have a bearish scenario. I know where I'm wrong in each scenario and I know where I'm looking to get into longs, where I'm looking to get into shorts. You know, I'm fully prepared for it, for everything here really. And um, that's just sensible trading. To be honest with you, that's sensible trading. So yeah, I'm currently in a short position, but I really want to get back into the long because I see the potential here of, you know, continuing this trend back up again to, to the highs here and, and just stay range around. I think that I really do think that this is the most way to actually get max pain ultimately because people just really want this to break out at the moment. But if we stay sideways, I'll get, keep trading the range, you know. So um, yeah, I must say, I, I obviously my higher term time frame bias, my higher term time frame bias is, is slightly bearish, you know. Um, but nevertheless, I'm trading the charts, but I do have a high term time frame bias of of, of uh, that we're going to break down from this. But um, you know that that's a step at a time, I suppose. Step at a time. I'd really want to see some weakness, you know, at least acceptance back into this channel. We haven't seen it here, haven't seen it here, haven't seen it here, even back here. You know, we haven't seen acceptance back into this channel for several weeks now. So that will be telling if we if we come back into here now, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's today's morning update for you. Uh, that's the technical analysis. You know, the range is just amazing. The range is just a literal gold mine, literally. And, um, you know, that's my viewpoint on the charts. Really, really, really simple. And I guess I'll end with this. I will end with this. Obviously, my last video, by the way, when, you know, there, there, there was the short back up at 9772. 
obviously I compounded it slightly 9760 their average price um you know this was my most disliked video I've ever done by the way most disliked video ever like period most disliked dislike video and then I, I was contemplating like why are, you know I've literally given you a winning recipe here I'm literally showing you the trade I'm in I'm literally you know there we, we were done a thousand dollars on the trade this is obviously the challenge account how can people not like this? And so I was thinking to myself, I've made a few posts on Twitter, you know, and um, oh yeah, that was this morning, by the way. So obviously I was in another short position from this morning, closed that out for a thousand dollars profit, went into the long. So I've already, I've already made a thousand dollars this morning uh, from the short and then you know, going into the long, obviously a bit more, but now back into the short, as you know, but nevertheless, let's not carry away, get carried away with that. But then it's this. Mate, you're taking away the edge from other paid group leaders. Of course, you're going to get hate. The fact that people will probably join your team and leave theirs, I generally don't see why an average person trying to learn to trade would give you hate. Think about it. I thought about it. I truly thought about it. And it makes so much sense. People are so... People do not like to see me. I, I, I believe there's this certain type of people that do not like me to see for me to be successful in this because literally I'm telling you now I am the champion of these charts I run these charts like this is who I am this is what I do this chart is my chart I am running this literally and I, I, and I refer to a post that I made yesterday you know for, refer to this post I know I know I have an ego I know it's hard to say but um I must say I am highly competitive you know I am so competitive I want to be the best in everything I do I've been doing this almost 10 years and the amount of times I've caught trades to the dollar, okay, catching trades to the dollar high, catching trades to the low. And I've done this several, several times. I mean, you've seen me do it and I honestly do feel like a god or like a, just a true champion. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I understand people are not going to like this. Um, but guess what? That's me. That's who I am. I run these charts. I'm the champion and the evidence is in itself. The evidence is literally in itself. Show me another trader. Show me another trader that woke up this morning to $1,200 profit, okay? And then closed that short, closed their short and went into a long position. Tell me one other trader that done that and can actually prove it to you by showing the results. I guarantee nobody else can do it, okay? On top of that, yeah, I have absolutely killed it. And I guess this is the next step that I want to refer to on this. They're currently DDoSing our website. So, the website is fully down at the moment, okay? They're just hammering the website. They can't affect me on the charts. Trading's all about the brain. My brain is in the trading. I'm foreseeing the moves before they happen. It's like a chess game. I'm playing 5D, 5D chess. I'm ready for every scenario, and I'm thinking five steps ahead of my opponent, okay? My opponents are obviously in this chart. For me to make money, I need to take it off of somebody else, and that's where the competitive edge is really, really necessary, you know? If I was, like, relaxed, if I was thinking, oh, I don't really care if I win this trade, you know, it's just a hobby, um, you know, who, who really cares what goes on here? You know, this for me is business. This for me is money. I want to win money. I want to make money. I want to, I want to, I just want to crush these charts every single day. That's why I'm in this. That's what I do. And, um, you know, they can't affect me on these charts. I'm I'm producing results every single day. You no, know? every single day I'm pr producing these results, okay? Day in, day out. So guess what? They can't affect me on the charts. They're coming across, taking down the website. I mean, fair enough, you know. They can't, <laughs> they're they not going to stop me trading. They're gonna not going to stop me making YouTube videos by, you know, fully getting a whole team to dislike the videos. So guess what? They're taking down the website. Fair play, you know, absolutely fair play. If that's all you can do, that's all you can do. But guess what? I'm going to still be here making money on the charts every single day as I have been for the last 10 years I'm here to stay I'm not going anywhere I appreciate everybody that gave me the support on that tweet that I made yesterday you know you're all legends all legends like I absolutely appreciate everything that you say I know the vast vast majority absolutely love the analysis that I give and for that I'm more more than happy to share my skills you know I have the trading knowledge I'm sharing it with you daily and you know it, absolutely more than happy to do that it's an absolute pleasure honestly it's an absolute pleasure to share these you know to share this knowledge and you know that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing this at the end of the day to share. And, um, you know, I know the vast majority appreciate it. And I'm sorry that I get I get carried away by focusing sometimes a bit too much on the hate. But, you know, I'm only human, I suppose, at the end of the day. But, yeah, there we go. That's that's the technical analysis, the range 
absolutely perfect. As I said before, key resistance for me, just write it down. Do yourself a favor and write it down because I'm telling you these are the levels. 9425 resistance, okay? Get above that 9,525. You clear that, I think we're going to go back up and, and complete that harmonic pattern, okay? But while we remain below these resistances, well, you know, I have a slight bearish bias, hence so I'm in a short position, okay? If we cannot break those two key resistances that I've just told you, then I truly believe that we're going to be looking down towards 8,705 over, you know, possibly the, the next few days slash weekend. So those are the levels that I'm looking for. Stay alert, stay ready, because we are potentially going to be getting a very big move coming very shortly. So just 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 be ready for it, okay? Make a plan. Make a bullish plan to yourself and say, I'm going to long if we get above this level. Make a bearish plan to yourself. I'm going to short if we get below this level, okay? Even in these sub-ranges, even on the lower term timeframes here, you can be even making trades within this, okay? So as long as you have a plan, then there's no reason why you cannot succeed, okay? If you want help with your plans, if you struggle to make a plan and you just want to know how I'm trading, then obviously I share this daily. Yeah? So, <laughs> you know, there's that. Not that I'm giving financial advice. Totally not financial advice, just education, entertainment video, only this. Um, but, you know, there we go. That That's the update of for today. I, I truly hope you've believed it. And I just want to emphasize my words once more. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody that has, you know, supported me. And I know the vast majority love the content. You know, I read the comments daily and, um, you know, I know the vast majority, you know, love the, love the content. So uh, for that, I, I, I send out my warmest regards. Thank you so much. And for the people that, um, you know, for the people that are taking down the website right now, for the people that disliked my videos, for the people that comment me trolling every single day, for the people that say, Daniel, you're a scammer, for the people that say, Daniel, you don't make money, for the people that say, Daniel, you do not do this, X, Y, and Z, I present to you evidence I'm doing this every single day, period. I'm crushing these charts. I'm the champion. Thank you and good night, good morning. That's me off. Thank you once again. Hope you have a brilliant day and I'm signing out. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Bye. <laughs>